Hi guys. All right, so um, what you're looking at is my fresh batch of cold process soap that I did. Um, is this a a um soap video? No, <laughs> no, it is not. It is a hair video, but I just wanted to show off. Okay, so you guys are gonna wish you had small vision though, cause those. Those smell good. Yeah. Okay. What am I doing to the video on? Uh, hair video. I have promised and promised and promised that I was going to do a um, shampoo video. Um, and so I shall. Here. Unfortunately, because of where the soap is, I'm, I'm hoping you guys are going to be able to see everything I'm going to be able to do. You should be able to. Um, this is going to be a shampoo video. This shampoo came about because I made um, a rosemary and lemon tea rinse. Rosemary, lemon, and honey tea rinse. And um, I was going to sell it with my Dreyas Heavenly Natural line, but I decided not to. And um, I removed it from the list. And now I'm going to share it with you. It's not going to be a thick shampoo. I'm not going to be using emulsifier, emulsifiers or um, any stabilizers or anything. But we will have um, some antibacterials to an extent. But then again, if you're making this, this will probably keep for a couple of days. Alright, so rosemary, honey, and lemon shampoo. You're going to need about a half a cup of dried rosemary leaves. And I already took the steps already to make my rosemary tea, just a plain base tea with my dried rosemary leaves. You can, if you can find rosemary tea bags, you can use them if you want to. You can use fresh rosemary if you have it. By all means, go ahead and use it. Um, and, huh, let's see, you're gonna need about a cup and a half of water, but when you make the tea, you're probably gonna have a little bit, like a cup and an eighth over here like I do, and that's fine. So you're going to steep the tea, the, um, the rosemary leaves in the tea for, you're going to bring it to a boil for about five minutes and then you're going to turn it down and let it simmer on simmer with a lid on it for about 35 minutes. Total time is about 40 minutes to 45 minutes depending on how strong you want your, your rosemary tea. You are going to need a fourth of a cup of lemon juice and that is already measured and poured into here. You are going to need tea tree oil. I'll tell you the amounts in a minute. You're going to need rosemary essential oil. And you can put any other little essential oils in there that you want to, say lavender, whatever you want. I'm going to be using lemon eucalyptus. It is an oil blend. And that eucalyptus is going to help stimulate the scalp. Lemon and eucalyptus help with hair growth. So this shampoo actually is coming about because I had dandruff one day and I couldn't get rid of it using the baking soda and um, an apple cider vinegar rinse. And so I took my rosemary tea and I made this. You are going to need honey because it is a rosemary honey lemon tea shampoo. And then oils. Definitely want vitamin E oil. It is a healer. And this one is T50 so this one's a preservative as well. But I'm not concerned about preservative values. If you want to add preservatives to it, we've already got one, two, three, four, five preservatives on the table. So <laughs> you're already putting them in there. I'm going to use um, some rosehip seed oil. And this is um, a healer. And it's excellent for skin and salves. It's going to help um, my scalp with moisture as well. I'm going to use some watermelon oil. And that's for moisture. And I'm going to use a little wheat germ oil, and that helps with hair growth. So let's get started, since I'm four minutes in already. Um, first, oh, and the Castile soap, the peppermint Castile soap. And this is going to give a, a nice tingle for dandruff for those that have just normal dandruff. Um, for the scalp, and help it get all ready. So I want to, I'm going to... Pour some of my rosemary. This is my bottle I'm using, just my Ozark, old Arzaka bottle. 
I'm going to pour some of this in here. It's still very, very hot. But I'm only doing part of it because I need to add honey. And I need to stir the honey. It's a brand new bottle. Yes, I still have my raw honey. I just um don't feel like digging it out right now, actually. I'm going to use uh, probably about a uh, half a tablespoon of honey. Now this one still has the cone in it, so I'm going to have some little pieces on here. But uh, it's going to do just fine. I'm going to dump that in there since it's still hot, and that's going to break down. The rest of everything else can be added to the bottle, but this one definitely has to be added to the hot stuff. Let's move that out of the way so you can see. See how I am stirring the honey into the hot rosemary tea. Not quite done yet. Now, if you use too much honey, yes, it will get sticky. If I have to do two videos, guys, I'll do two videos. But you're basically going to stir that until it's all gone. Yes, all gone. Then we're going to pour it into the bottle. Alright. This is the color that you want because of your lemon and your honey. And everything you're gonna get that quick little shake next we're gonna go with peppermint and it probably will be added last but you know what I'm just gonna eyeball this because I was gonna measure it but it's gonna take longer to put in I'm just gonna pour and you're gonna see the color change there you're gonna pour as much as you want in there That's probably about, it's about a half a cup, about three-fourths of a cup of the Castile shampoo, the Castile soap. So that's that. That's the color you're going to get. And then you can start adding your oil. Since my watermelon oil, you can use whatever other oils you want. I'm using watermelon oil. Mine comes with a pump. So I'm going to put, I can get it in here. I'm not getting much out of this, but probably about five or six pumps if you have the watermelon oil. Next is the rose hip seed oil. I'm probably going to use about a teaspoon of this. Okay. And then I'm going to show you the wheat germ oil. And then we're going to take a break because I'm at 8.49 already. Time flies when you start making stuff. YouTube doesn't give you enough time. our lemon, our rosemary tea, our honey, our rose hip seed oil, our wheat germ oil, and our watermelon oil. When I come back for the next video, I'm going to have the rest of the essential oils for you. Be back soon.